Hi there, everyone. Uh, I am Antonio, and uh, I would like to, uh, first and foremost, uh, thank my friend uh, Terry Bardet to invite me today uh, to teach uh, this lovely crowd about Merlot grape variety today. So uh, I'm going to explain you where this grape variety uh, grows around the peninsula of Italy. Uh, I'm going to show you a few maps. I'm going to talk about why this uh, grape variety is often blended uh, with Cabernet Sauvignon and uh, also some food pairing. Uh, it's going to last 10 to 20 minutes, uh, this uh, lesson. So let's get started if you're ready. So let me share your, the screen with uh, you today. So, uh, first and foremost, uh, uh, I would like to present myself. I am Antonio Palmarini, an Italian guy that uh, is uh, uh, migrated in London in 2010. Uh, I am Palmavini wine doctor in all social media like Instagram, Vivino, for example, where I rated over 2000 uh, wines. Uh, I'm a wine drinker since 1987 when I was born, but I joke aside, I started to study wine in 2007, if, even if I was drinking wine uh, since uh, earlier than that, not from the 87 though. Um, in uh, London, here in UK, uh, where I'm recording, the uh, I've been working in many Michelin star restaurants, uh, and I am a certified sommelier for wine, Japanese sake. This slide is not even updated. Also, uh, I am certified tea sommelier. There is no alcohol in there, but it's actually quite good beverage. I also arrived semi-finalist of the best UK sommelier 2019, and I've got my website. So if you want any more information about me, about what I do, or you want any collaboration, please feel free to visit my website or uh, drop me an email. I'm gonna drop, uh, I give you the, my email address in the end of uh, the uh, session. Uh, so here I start every masterclass with this slide because in this slide you can find, uh, you can see where the grapes growing, where the best wines are produced all around the world. So in purple, you see uh, where the grapes uh, growing uh, in Europe is the majority of the wine uh, where the wine is produced, but uh, amazing wines are produced all over the world, like South Africa, South of America, like Chile or Argentina. In the USA, in California, fantastic wines, also fantastic Merlot. And um, here in South of Australia, even Western Australia or Victoria, uh, region of Australia, even New Zealand. Also for who doesn't know, even China producing lots of wine. And the uh, wine nowadays is growing e even in Caribbean island where it cannot be produced, but is still, uh, there is still some producer doing it. Uh, even in India, in Thailand, for example. Not um, famous producer are there, not uh, high quality product coming from these countries, but how, however, wine can be produced in tropical weather as well, but doesn't give excellent results. Excellent results is found in Mediterranean weather. So that's why in Europe, where the Mediterranean Sea is, give fantastic results. But Mediterranean weather is also in California, in Chile, in some part of Australia, in South Africa, even if it is Mediterranean weather, the climate change a bit if you compare to the original uh, Mediterranean weather, but still the year four season the, uh, is the um, winter where it's more rainy and uh, grapevine grows very well, giving excellent results. So, here is a little zoom of the of Europe. Here you find uh, uh, this lovely peninsula where I'm coming from, uh, and uh, uh, where in purple, where all the grapes is uh, planted. Actually, I would 
put more uh, purple color in this area here, which is Calabria, even more here in Sicily, and a bit in north here is not 100% correct, but it gives you an idea that a grapevine in Italy is produced everywhere. Uh, Italy is the country that produces more wine in the world, producing over the 20% of the total wine in production, oh, 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 two bottles of wine each then coming from this country. Every year is produced here. Between Italy, France and Spain combined together, they produce together over 51% of the total wine production in the world. So only three countries. So it's a fantastic how the uh, how is various here the production in Europe is unbelievable. Wherever you go, there is a different grape variety, different uh, climate, uh, and uh, there are so many grapes that uh, even I don't know. There are so many. Let's zoom in Italy. Zoom uh, and uh, I tell you directly that there are here in this peninsula 1,000 grape variety uh, out of 2,000 known around the globe. Uh, Italy so uh, have uh, more grape uh, than France, for example, that they've got 400 and uh, is ranked third. The second uh, country that have more grape variety is Portugal with uh, around 600 grape variety out of, six, uh, out of 2000 in the world. Uh, Italy have got very long history in wine, starting from 600 uh, uh, years before Christ. There are some recent studies that suggest that here in Sicily, in the south, the southernmost uh, and the biggest island in, uh, in the Mediterranean Sea, that uh, the wine production started uh, between 1,000 to 2,000 years before Christ. So could reach 4,000 years ago from now. So incredible how the history is long here in, in, uh, in for the wine. However, the, the quality production started around uh, 50 years ago. So we are producing excellent wine right now, but we can make better uh, for sure the variety is incredible so if you want to have fun with wine come to italy or drink italian wine so merlot we're talking about merlot today merlot uh, growing uh, a bit of everywhere in italy uh, because uh, Merlot, along Cabernet Sauvignon, which I'm going to do a, a different uh, master class for that, for you, Terry. Uh, here, the Merlot, being an international grape coming from France, from Bordeaux, where it is originated, along Cabernet Sauvignon as well, um, has been spread all around the world from Bordeaux and used to be thought to be a uh, Along Cabernet Sauvignon, the best two red grape varieties that combined together used to give the best wine in the world. So uh, people start to request this grape variety in South Africa, in California, in Chile, in Argentina, in Australia. So um, become such a popular that also the studies of this grape variety uh, become. Uh, uh, profitable, and there was a lot of uh, improvement for these grape vines. So also in method of production, not only in planting and in the vineyard, but also in the wine making. So that's why today these two grape varieties give amongst the uh, most um, uh, expensive wine in the world, even in California, in, uh, in Napa Valley, for example. However, in Italy, uh, is mostly planted in Veneto and Friuli Venezia Giulia. There are few producers only here that produce excellent Merlot. Only few, but the massive production here of Merlot is average quality. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, average 
quality. So I would focus to another region, even if produced much less, which is Tuscany. But except Tuscany, we'll come back to Tuscany, Merlot is, uh, is widely planted in Lazio, for example, along the Shiraz, that is another French grape variety, or in uh, Sicily, for example, but a bit all around the world and is usually blended with local varieties or indigenous varieties. <laughs> is, uh, is blended because of uh, uh, Merlot is well known, the flavor is, uh, uh, is requested. You, someone, if you say, if it goes to a wine shop and say and see two bottles of wine, one that is written Merlot, one that is written, uh, I don't know, let's say uh, X grape variety, probably uh, wants to go uh, safe, want to play safe and grab the Merlot. So Merlot is blended also for this reason with other uh, uh, regional varieties. And also because the flavor is good, is is quaffable, is uh, is uh, it's quite good. It's got good uh, red fruit character. But if you go, if we go back to Tuscany, uh, here is where the high quality production of Merlot is. So let's go to Tuscany, which is in central Italy. This is Veneto, sorry, before going to Tuscany, this is Veneto. Veneto is a bit more flatter land than Tuscany. Tuscany is more hilly. Uh, Veneto has got more uh, richer clay, fertile soil, where uh, Merlot gives a uh, higher quantity uh, uh, grape, you know, uh, is more... Um, produce more grapes, and, uh, but the quality is uh, questionable. Uh, yeah, of course, there is some vineyard and some producer, as I said, that makes stunning Merlot. But here in Tuscany, the thing uh, is uh, more challenging, let's say. And uh, here there is also a tradition of making quality wines. So uh, whatever grapes they do, they do it well, but of course, there are a few grapes that gives best result than others. Amongst the best, there is the Sangiovese, that is the uh, their own grape variety, let's say, even if it grows around the Italy, all around Italy. But Merlot, along Cabernet Sauvignon, here gives uh, amongst the, the most expensive wine of Italy. And here, the soil is more gravelly, sometimes more sandy, uh, however, Merlot likes more the clay, rich clay. However, uh, in a hilly side makes uh, a bit better uh, products. So where exactly in Tuscany you can find the Merlot? Uh, usually in the coastline, because Merlot, uh, if you... Um, if you go more to the center of the of Tuscany, it is warmer. Uh, again, is a generalization because if you go high in altitude in the top of the hillside, of course the temperature goes down. But uh, in the uh, coastline, you have more um, maritime climate that refresh and, and balance the hot summer days. So Merlot grows a bit better here. So where exactly? Number 22 here in uh, Bulgari, for example. Bulgari is the, is the land for Cabernet and Merlot together, but, uh, but also some producers produce Merlot 100%, uh, but also a bit uh, in the coast, like in, in the Maremma, for example, number 27 in the Maremma Toscana, for example, which is all these huge land in the coastline in the southwest of Tuscany. So here is a zoom of Bulgari. I placed here some best wines from Bulgari. All of them, they have Merlot, but all of them is blended. Because here 
Uh, traditionally, Merlot is always blended with Cabernet Sauvignon and other grapes. Uh, I will explain you why in a second. But there is one producer here, Masseto, that uh, do not use any Cabernet. This is the only one. This is the highest quality uh, Merlot, 100% wine in Italy. That's definitely that. And it's the most expensive wine of Italy or one of uh, Masseto, and this is 100% Merlot. The other one, except the Sassicaia, uh, La Cornellaia, Guadaltasso, Grattamarco, Cavarcanda, and many, many others. They are blended with Cabernet Sauvignon. Why is blended with Cabernet Sauvignon? Here we go, why? Merlot gives a red fruit, red fruit, but I, red fruit flavor, um, gives a, uh, uh, body, I've got very full body when it's well done. I've got uh, lower tannins than Cabernet Sauvignon, a higher alcohol. So usually to balance this full body and gives a bit more tannins and the lower the alcohol, what you do, you blend it with Cabernet Sauvignon. Also because Cabernet Sauvignon has got black fruit character instead of red. So blend it together. You add also complexity of the flavor of the wine. Uh, here is the classic uh, Italian Merlot in the picture of the Masseto, again, the most expensive Merlot in Italy. Uh, Merlot is usually blended with Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Petit Verdot, and Sangiovese. Likes uh, climate, which is moderate maritime, fresher and wetter than Cabernet Sauvignon, for example. Uh, it likes the clay-based soil, less gravelly than Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, it gives just best result. The soil in uh, grapevines is, is vitally important. And in terms of tasting notes, they have red for character. However, if the Merlot is made in a very high standard and is usually an expensive uh, premium Merlot can give also black for character, like black cherry, not black currant, like uh, the Cabernet Sauvignon, but black cherry, a bit of black plum as well, but tends to have more red, like raspberry and strawberry, especially when it's more quaffable, more uh, approachable, more uh, medium level. Uh, what is the strength of the Merlot? That is one of the most popular red grape, make most pricey one in the world when it's blended also with Cabernet. But the weakness is made two broad styles from affordable to super premium. So uh, it's really, you don't, many people don't understand Merlot because there is Merlot of $10 and Merlot of $1,000. And you don't really understand the style of this great variety. But it actually makes it too, as I said, the more quaffable, uh, fruity with red fruit character and more complex towards the black, uh, black fruit character, keeping the red as well for character, but also more complex and fuller in body and higher in alcohol. And also the sideways movie ruined the reputation in, uh, of the Merlot. And this is a real thing. It's not only a, it's not a joke. The planting in the USA dropped drastically after the movie and the Pinot Noir went up so much. Uh, it's crazy how a movie can uh, move also uh, uh, how the people think it. Anyway, uh, the Merlot pairs very well with softer cheeses, like this lovely Gorgonzola or some Parmigiano that is not very well aged, more fresher, more creamier, less umami. So the fruity flavor of Merlot, medium level Merlot, goes very well. Also with the softer cheese like this and really strong, you can go also with a bit more premium style of Merlot. Also here, I place the chicken. Okay, I'll tell you in Italian. This is an Italian dish. It's called the pollo alla cacciatora. Means that is the uh, translated hunter's kitchen. 
uh, chicken, sorry, uh, hunter's chicken. And the chicken here is made with tomato, a bit of mushroom sometimes, depending of the uh, <clears throat> of who is cooking. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes we change the recipe, but we keep the same name. Uh, rosemary and uh, uh, Jaska olive, which are bitter olives. Uh, also, Bresaola or Carpaccio can go very well. Or uh, even pasta base with tomato base, sorry. This one is um, Bucatini alla Matriciana. So it's bacon and tomato sauce. Uh, so yeah, with that I finish and uh, thank you very much for uh, listening, uh, for any inquiry, here is my email address, palmavideoendoctor at gmail.com. Uh, so for any uh, collaboration, please feel free to contact me and follow me on Instagram, don't forget about that, for any uh, further information, please visit my website at www.antoniopalmarini. Dot com. Thank you very much, Terry, and I hope uh, you all enjoyed this masterclass, and thank you very much.